So I go to make this video where I roast this TikTok trend that I've seen of people rolling up their bud using banana peels. And when I start digging and doing more research into it, I actually found out that it was like a trend to smoke banana peels back in the 60s and a bunch of hippies were smoking banana peels. Like literally the whole peel, they weren't just wrapping with the peel, they were smoking the whole peel. So there's a lot of wild stuff on TikTok. We've seen it, people putting honey in their wraps, people microwaving it, people saying that vitamin C will reset your tolerance and you're gonna to get high like the very first time there's lots of stuff out there well one of the latest trends that i've seen there's a lot of tutorials that show you how to use the outer layer of your banana peel the yellow part to roll up or use that in place of like a blunt wrap or in place of a joint paper something like that there's a little bit of process that goes into it but after some thought, I was like, there's no way that it's worse than like a tobacco leaf or something, right? There's no way it's worse. But when I start looking into it, I found out that in the 60s, people were smoking the whole banana peel. I can't find the exact way it started, but apparently in 1966, some guy named Country Joe McDonald said that smoking banana peels gets you high. And this Scottish singer named Donovan wrote a song about it called Mellow Yellow. And also in April 1967, there was an underground newspaper that showed a recipe for how to smoke your banana peels or how to prepare them for smoking. Bananas, wholesome and then some. She's got the Chiquita banana sticker on her head. Eliminate paranoia, get high legally, smoke bananas. This sounds bananas. Thousands of turned on hippies all over the country are rushing to their neighborhood stores, boosting the economy by snapping up all the bananas in sight, right? If you hear that bananas are gonna get you high, you just go into the store to get bananas, right? But they printed this recipe. Get 15 pounds of bananas, scrape off the insides of the peels. This will take one person per hour to finish. Put banana peels in a pot, add water, and boil for two to three hours until you get a solid paste. Spread on a cookie sheet and dry in oven for about 15 minutes. Final product is a fine black powder. A simpler recipe calls for scraping the insides of banana peels, drying them in a slow 200 degree oven until dry. Then pulverize the scrapings and roll them into a joint or stuff them in a pipe, smoke the results. The high is a rough equivalent of a buzz you get from a heavy dark green grass. Beatniks trying to make it rich have formed the Mellow Yellow Cooperative in San Francisco and are making the yellow paradise in beautiful psychedelic nickel bags of pure of 100% pure continued. I don't know. And I did look, it wasn't like the, the mellow yellow cooperative. I don't think that's the same mellow yellow soda. I don't know if they evolved into soda later. But apparently in the 60s, smoking banana peels is like a thing. The same website I found that newspaper I just showed you also had a link to another one citing that somebody got a DUI from smoking banana peels. They got pulled over and the cops found banana peels and they got a DUI. Just think about that for a second. Bro, you got a DUI from a banana peel. Those have got to hit harder than the ones in Mario Kart. All it took was one the weirdo recipe in some underground newspaper saying that banana peels get you high and tons of people just ran out and went and bought bananas. I'm surprised the marketing genius behind mangoes get you higher that works for big mango hasn't pitched the idea that mango peels get you higher. Well, when I sat down to make this video, I thought I was just going to be making fun of a bunch of people that are easily impressionable on TikTok that'll just do whatever they see. But apparently this has already happened back in the 60s and people were smoking the whole banana peel. They weren't just rapping with it. They were smoking the whole banana peel and telling their friends they were getting high. Like the placebo is wild, right? It's wild because you'd think that, oh, I'm going to smoke one bowl. I'm going to smoke one wrap of banana peel. I'm going to smoke it one time and realize, oh, yeah, it doesn't do anything. But people were doing it. It was like a whole thing back in the 60s. There was a song about it. I bet some old hippie still does that to this day. Like, you gotta wonder. Somebody, like, did it. They placeboed themselves so hard, and now they're like, I can't smoke unless I bake the banana peels in the oven at 200 degrees for 40 minutes. I don't know what they're doing, but they're doing it. Thanks for watching. Come get high with me on Twitch. I go live up to 9 p.m. Eastern. And if you didn't know that people are out here smoking honey, check out this video right here. People put honey in their blunts, and they think it makes it better. Later, my dudes.